Hello, I'm Dave Green. This is the Street View Interview Show. I'm here today with Ian Smith, stand-up comedian and star of BBC Two's Popatron. How are you doing, Ian? You all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Um, it's about, I, I need to clarify. There's, I think it's funny to say star of BBC Two's Popatron because if anyone like researches that, they're going to see an, an eight-year gap in my CV. <laughs> I'm like, well, is that all he's got? If there's anything you can reference? say about the fans of Street View interviews that they do a lot of research. Yeah, well, I can yeah. imagine. Because if you're on Google Maps, you're just a tab away from finding an image of that thing, finding um, the web address. That's it. You can do anything. So you can never be too careful. So mm. it, is, it is good to point that out. Yeah. You, re- you ready to go? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, wow. Such a- Hello. It's pretty high tech, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. All right, so where where are we now? What what is this place? This is Dunhill Road, where I grew up, and my family are still growing up. So was this like generally good times growing up here? Yeah, yeah. Um, there's one of my favourite places. So this little sort of um, triangular building is um, where I started comedy. Yes, yeah, so I did my first. I did a sketch show called Best Before Yesterday, oh. and um, we did two shows there. And then we all went off to different unis and colleges, and I was just like, well, I'm going to have to do it myself now. But instead of doing sketch comedy or any form of acting, I just talk. Ooh. Who's that? Do you know her? No, come, but what, come close what, to what, the was she, what was she doing to the kid? That's not Is a, that a kid? kid. Looks like a oh my god. That's a kidnapping. It looks like it's been like wrapped up like a prison. And even though her head's blurred out, you can see that her facial expression is an open <laughs> mouth like, oh no, I've been rumbled. She looks like yeah, yeah. She looks like she's just about to like spin <laughs> yeah. around and run away. Alright, let's let's take us to the next location. You ready you ready to go? Yes. To the next location. Here we go. Oh, what a lovely sat where are we? What is this? Oh, Denmark Hill. Denmark Hill. But I don't know where we are in Denmark Hill. Denmark Hill, look, it says. Yeah. <laughs> Let's walk up here a bit. I just plonked us down somewhere random, so. But well, is it generally good living here? Yeah, yeah, I like should... it here. There's, where are um, we in London, for people that don't know? South East, near Camberwell. Okay. There's um, a lovely corner shop called Corners. Um, isn't even on a corner. But it knows what it is. It's basically a corner shop. There it is. How many ends in corners? As many as you like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mate. It's almost like corners. Yeah. On laundry mats. Do you ever pop in there? Oh, yeah. I go in there so much that I'm I'm now, I'm pretty annoyed that the staff are friendlier to me than they are. Because I, I went through a phase where I'd go in, get my flapjack and my lookers at like I always do. And one of the guys would always smile and laugh at me because he knew, he knew me and he knew that's what I get. But now I feel like I go in there. And I'm like, you all right? And he's like, mm. Oh, he's really? Like, it's me. I'm me every day buying a flat. So he was friendly and then he's bought it down a notch. Yeah. and That's I, weird, man. I think I'm responsible for all their flapjack sales. <laughs> if I move, they're going to have an obscene amount of flapjacks. Maybe you should do that just to... Show them who's boss. Yeah, exactly. Put them in their place. Yeah. All right. So let's let's take a look at the next place. Oh, oh the this sky. is a, this is actually a surprise one. Yeah, this is the surprise round where we uh we have a little music. I mean, we look at the the sky and see if we can see any pictures. Oh, okay. What's that? That looks like a um what do you call those two two twats who keep lumping lumping seven shades of um sugar out of each other. Uh, puppets. Oh, yeah. Punch and Judy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a bit yeah, like yeah, yeah. either Punch or Judy. These two. They've got a terrible relationship, those two. Brilliant. You ready to go? Yes. Let's do it. Oh. Where is this? Um, this is in Bruges. Oh. I this think is. this was your, your favourite place in the world, wasn't it? Yeah. In case I didn't already... Uh... And I can't remember it at all. Lovely pub. I know I'm pointing. I'm just going to point back. And I don't think I'm going to point back. Oh, it's got busy. It's busy in here. 
The good thing about Belgian beer... Oh, her head's gone off. Um, the good thing about Belgian beer is that it's about three times stronger than normal beer. So you can have a couple of bottles and you already feel sort of... Ooh, someone suave. Look at this guy. Look at him. Don't want to be seen, though. They haven't even blurred out his face because he's, yeah. al- he's already disguised himself he's for Google himself. Maps. He's the sort of guy, he saves, people like that save Google a lot of work. It should be just common courtesy. If only we all wore Google, hats like that, yeah. Doff your cap. All right, let's hit the next place. You ready? Yeah. Oh. Where is this? Oh, I think this is your least favourite place in the world. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look good, does it? Where, where are we? I think we're at Liverpool One bus station. Um, I just don't like it, and it's nothing against Liverpool, but I hate getting like National Express coaches. The amount of times I've done a gig and then been sat at this damp, soulless bus station. It looks pretty grim, man. Yeah. And look at the day as well, it's like... Yeah, it doesn't even just look... Just grey. This is a really good day to get across my point. I read a, I guess it's a sociology book called, um, it's called something that sounds clever, but I've forgotten it. Um, non-stop inertia. Yeah. And it described non-places, places like hotel lobbies oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. aeroplanes and trains where you're not of any like fixed thing. It's just like a transition point. And I don't, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. There's I like to feel like I'm about in it. a place. All right. Let's hit the next place. <laughs> <laughs> so, I do sometimes just put it down in a random place, so this might not be was exactly. It, was the first time first time you had sex? <laughs> so this is Endemol. Charlecroft Way. Endemol's offices. Oh yeah. Um, or was this a life changing moment? Maybe. Yeah. I think maybe this was the thing that changed your life. The reason I chose this is because. So I wanted to do comedy, and I graduated from uni, and I didn't know if I'd had to would have to live up north for for a bit, if I'd better afford to go to London. I was really scared about getting a job because I never really had a job, and during uni, I think I was just sensible with my student loan, so I didn't have a part time job or anything. So I was really scared about like how do you get jobs? How would you do that? So. I went up to the fringe and was like, I'm not going to worry about it during the fringe. I'll do the fringe and then start thinking about stuff. I did a package show called The Lunchtime Club. A woman was talking at one point. I remember standing on a table and like screaming at her, probably shut the fuck up in her face. And she was a BBC producer. Um, and I think that was a memorable enough event in the gig for her to see me for an audition for the Poppertron, everyone's favourite sitcom. Um, yeah, and then I got that, and we were filming it in like mid September, early October. So I was I could use that to move to London and not have to worry about that. And it wasn't like a lot of money, but it was enough that I could just do comedy for for yeah, a bit. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Um, yeah, so it was a good head start. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant, man. Mm. Where are we going next? Let's see. Yes, man. Ooh. Oh. I think this was your your peaceful place. Yeah. Where where is this? This is I think St Margaret's Lock. Ooh. Or Lock Edinburgh, as you should say. It's near half a seat. Half, half a oh, seat's yeah. giving it the big one up there. Okay. And there's some ruins. So that's a favourite nice. of comedians, isn't it, to walk up half a seat? Yeah, yeah. Usually at the end of the festival when you're feeling emotionally ruined, mm. you go up there and then taking the view and then you yeah. realise how insignificant you are and how silly the whole thing is but this is a That's bit quieter so you, you yeah, often get a bench then. to yourself this is really nice don't feed the ducks there though why? they're mad for bread these ducks more so than most like um, I was feeding the ducks I thought it would be really nice and then they're, they're so intense with the love of bread that they're all coming and then the swans are coming and the geese oh, or really? whatever they getting are getting Alfred Hitchcock and it's just yeah, that's scary. Yeah, it's and then I and then I was walking around. And I saw a sign that said "Don't feed the ducks." So I think they've had that problem before. Oh really? Well, that's it. They get a taste for bread and then they move on to mm. harder stuff. 
<laughs> right, let's go. Ooh. Oh. This is a. Uh, I think this is a. Uh, an answer to the question: Take me to a place where you've never been but would like to go. Yeah, and this is everybody's favourite prison, Alcatraz. I'd love to go to Alcatraz. I love a good prison break story. I also remember watching a creepy TV show that said a man who was going to get, like, hung or killed or whatever they do in America for murder, and he put his, like, handprint on the wall oh, really? in mud, and they kept trying to paint over it, but then the, oh, the handprint man. would come back. And that feels like it can't be true with the quality of paint that you can get. <laughs> but sometimes the truth is stronger than paint. That's, That's beautiful. I think that's a nice place to end it. Yeah. All right, so let's... I think we can... can zoom out now. That's it. Yeah, oh, there we go. So th thanks for coming on the show. I've been Dave Green. He's been Ian Smith. This has been the Street View Interview Show. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Thank you. <laughs>